Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. In today's video, we are doing a breakdown on these new Federal Premium Freight Train Copper Tip Sabo Slugs. These are in 20 gauge, 3 inch, and uh, this is kind of crazy. A 275 grain bullet, yes it is a bullet, moving an advertised 1900 FPS. That is wicked fast for a shotgun, although we've beat that several times with a 12 gauge and a 10 gauge but these are made in the usa and we do have a lead free bullet that's pretty cool i didn't know that until just now the box design is about the same as any other federal premium box but we do have our freight train logo down there again these are relatively new they came out this year we can see one of the expanded bullets on it the box is five shotgun shells once again, our specs, 20 gauge, 3 inch, 1900 FPS, 275 grain bullet. It doesn't say anywhere on the box what the diameter is, but it looks like it's a 50 cal. The back of the box is just a bunch of warnings. The bottom of the box, or actually it's the top, just more warnings. Sorry for the out of focus. If you want to read anything, just pause it. If this thing would focus... Here's a better view of the back. Anyway, the other side of the box is just more warnings. The bottom of it is some info about, well, the slug and Sabo combo. If you, Again, if you want to read anything, just pause it. I know someone's going to ask this, but the box says right there, use in fully rifled barrels only. So, no, you will not have a good accuracy out of these in a smooth bore and probably not a rifled choke. Fully rifled barrels only. I'll zoom in on this right here, just because that may be important to some of you guys. I did look on Federal's website, and they claim that at 200 yards, these will hold a 4-inch or tighter group. Well, we don't really have a 200-yard a range, and we don't have a rifled 20-gauge barrel just yet, but we're going to get one soon, because we have... Quite a few 20 gauge slugs that we need a rifled barrel for. We have some Mr. Hollow points. We have these now. Some of those fancy Russian slugs. We'll be doing some accuracy testing with those out of a smooth bore and a rifled barrel. And one of you guys actually reached out to me yesterday. Today is September 20th. But he is sending some basically giant 20 gauge bullets for lack of a better term. Think of a... Uh, it's just a lead solid. Anyway, going over the shell here, we have the Freight Train logo. Looks pretty cool. Federal. We have a 209A primer. 20 gauge Federal head stamp. Anything else on this? There's our specs. I was looking for that. Sabo Slug. 3 inch, which is 76 millimeters. 275 grain bullet. Now the bullet itself, obviously has a polymer tip on it kind of reminds me of a hornady <laughs> even josh thought that too he saw these when he was here earlier and was like hey that that's probably a hornady slug in there could be but you can see our sabo it is white in color it has a four petal design and we have a really nice looking roll crimp on it i always like seeing these sabo slugs for shotguns obviously they uh look very very interesting to say the least and like i said earlier this looks like it's a 50 cal bullet could be 52 but i think it's just a 50 cal but without further ado let's crack this open and see how they threw this together today's snooze and drink combo actually it's not time but anyway tonight snooze and drink combo is x range apple really really good tastes like apple wine and Mountain Dew Voodoo, the 2024 version. If you guys have ever had those little strawberry candies that are wrapped up in foil to look like a strawberry, I don't know what they're called, but that's what that is. It's strawberry, a uh, little candy flavor. But I have all the components laid out here. This is actually a lot more simple than I thought it was going to be. It is just hull, obviously. Powder. We'll talk about that in just a moment. A felt wad. Sabo slug and roll crimp. So, I want to start with the Sabo. I haven't measured this yet, but it's it's 50 cal. I don't know that just by looking at it. 
it is serrated, not serrated. It, it has pedals that will open up whenever it hits its intended target. Very cool looking polymer tip. And being 275 grains, this has a decent amount of weight to it. That is 5 eighth of an ounce. Just to confirm, 0.637 is actually just a fuzz more than 5 eighth of an ounce. In grains, that would be 279, basically 280 grains. A little bit heavier than what Federal's claiming. You don't often see that with factory ammo. With the Sabo, it becomes a 310.2 grain projectile. Obvi well, payload. Obviously, the Sabo falls off whenever you fire it, but in total, that is a 7 tenth ounce load here. And, of course, this being a Sabo slug, they fit together very, very tight. They kind of have to be. You want the rifling to be able to put enough pressure on the slug to allow it to spin. So, let's actually measure this now. That was kind of hard to get drop out of there. But yeah, let's measure that. I'm betting it's 50 cal. Spot on, 50 cal. And yes, those are 22 CCI stingers in a, uh, a WRF box. Josh picked this up, the box of stingers, and he dropped it. Shattered all over my floor. He picked them up, and this is now their new home. Here's what the Sabo looks like. It's just basically a really, really heavy duty shot cup. You can see how thick the pedals are. Again, they have to be to stand up to rifling. Uh, rifling really messes up regular plastic target wads. But this thing is beefy as can be. Again, it has to be. And yes, I did kind of mangle the pedals just a little bit. Uh, believe it or not, these are actually really, really tight inside the hull. I had to pry it out with a pair of pliers. So moving on, below the slug and sabo focus, we have a quarter inch felt wad, obviously 20 gauge in size. Although this is a very, very dense felt, it is not really much of a cushion wad. It's very hard, very rigid, very dense. And uh, just to prove that, you can see on the left and right side, it is crushed just a little bit with the pliers because, again, that was in there tight. I had to squeeze it out. Below that is something I've never seen before. If you guys have any experience with the X10X or X12X gas seals, this is it. Except in 20 gauge. Where'd it go? Yeah, I've never seen a 20 gauge X series gas seal. But that's what this is. I didn't even know that these were in existence now, I wish we could get these on the commercial market. That would be awesome. We can get 10 and 12 gauge ones, but not 20 gauge, at least not that I've ever seen or seen anyone mention, but there it is. X20X, I guess you'd call it. Somehow, I managed to lose the clip of me showing the powder, but it was 47 and a half of some kind of ball powder that looks like LS, but definitely not it. And if you guys watch the Federal Premium 20 gauge, 20 pellet free buck, breakdown I did the other day, well, this is the exact same hull, but in 3 inch. It also has a low yellow plastic base wad, which I am not used to seeing in 20 gauge federal hulls. Again, I have hundreds of these. I've never seen a plastic base wad in a federal 20 gauge hull. But, here it is, 3 inch. If I didn't mention it, that is not brass. 99% of modern shotgun shells do not have brass. It is actually brass plated steel. So I have this in order now. We have our hull and primer. Our powder, X20X, that's what I'm going to call it because that's kind of what it is. An X20X gas seal, one quarter inch felt wad, although not much in the way of cushion. Our plastic sabo and a 275 grain 50 cal slug. All right, let's wrap this back up and see if I can make it look presentable. Although, the top of the hull on the back side, that might be kind of troublesome. Actually, that went back together effortlessly, although most of the font is now gone off our hull. That's okay. We know what these are. Ain't no mistake in that. Very, very nice roll crimp. If you hear that noise in the background, that is my dog. His name is Andre because he's a very small chihuahua. Andre the Giant. But... Very, very nice roll. I don't see anything wrong with that. Looks great. Slugs in there nice and tight. 
Anyway, guys, there is a breakdown on Federal Freight Train Copper Tip Sabo Slug 20 gauge 3 inch 275 grain 50 cal at 1900 FPS. It might be a month, maybe two months before we get around to testing these. Again, we have to get a rifled barrel 20 gauge. His dad, Josh's dad, has a Maverick 88 and 20 gauge. I'm pretty sure we can find a rifled barrel for it relatively easy. If not, we'll just, well, save it for an ultra slug. But I think I'm winning this one here, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.